Now to a spike in coronavirus cases in Tulsa County. The health department reports 65 new cases, and that's the largest one-day increase for Tulsa County since March. There are 158 new cases statewide. Health officials expect those numbers to keep going up. As Channel 8's Maureen Wirtz reports, some businesses are going the extra mile to stay open and keep customers safe. Maureen. Aaron, this is the curbside pickup here at Andalini's on Cherry Street. Now it's kind of part of their new business model as they deal with COVID-19. This isn't the only change they've made. We've been able to handle the transition and move on a dime, which COVID changed us like that. Mike Bausch's life and his business changed the second COVID-19 hit. Me and my brother, since we started this business, always look for the other angle. And it dawned on us that six feet of distance while safe isn't foolproof because you don't you don't have a barrier so if we had a barrier it, it would be two birds with one stone he knows the barriers and the other steps they took at andalini's aren't required to reopen but that doesn't matter this is about safety even though the restrictions are lessening we have to be hyper vigilant because we are in the hospitality industry and we have that social contract with the customer that you're coming into our house we're going to make sure it's safe Today, we did report our largest um, case count increase. Today, 65 um, new cases were reported among Tulsa County residents. Leanne Stevens with the Tulsa County Health Department says not everyone is being as careful as they should be. So today is the, an, an unfortunate day where you say, yeah, we've had the largest spike in cases. Are you expecting that number to go up to increase? I don't think that's outside the realm of possibility um, as people are moving about more and unfortunately can becoming more lax in their prevention. Mike says the barriers will stay up as long as COVID-19 is around. COVID-19 is gone. These will be gone as well. Until then, we'll be safe. So those changes here to stay at Andalini's indefinitely until COVID-19 is gone. Reporting live on Cherry Street, Maureen Wirtz, Tulsa's Channel 8.